What's up YouTube? Welcome to the channel. My name's Stu, this is Super Unboxing. Great to have you here. Uh, it's time for yet another one of our unboxing videos. And today we have a box which I think is probably becoming uh, one of my favourite boxes to uh, unbox. Simply because of the fact that it uh, combines like two of my favourite things, which is Funko Pops and food. Can't go wrong with that. Um, if I get to unbox some uh, decent Funko Pops and eat food at the end of the video as well, win-win. Okay. Um, enough clues there to know what the box is, and you know what it is anyway, because you've seen it in the title. But, um, the box in question, of course, combining the pops and the candy, you get pop and candy, of course. So this is the uh, wonderful pop and candy for September. Uh, last month's box was uh, superb, had some really great pops. I actually ended up with four pops instead of three, but less candy, which I wasn't too bothered about, to be honest, because it's more about the pops than the candy for me. So uh, I had an uh, Comic-Con exclusive as well, so that was great. So I should have three Funko Pops and uh, the rest made up with candy, that's what I've signed up for. Um, it was supposed to be a horror theme box, uh, that's what I put down when I placed the order. But uh, Pop Candy did con contact me and said that um, to ask if I was completely set on having um, horror pops because they had some fantastic exclusives, to use their words, that weren't um, horror related. Uh, would I be interested in having those instead? So. You know, who am I to turn down a, a chance of an exclusive pop? So I said, yeah, what the hell? Chuck what you want in there. We'll see how we go on. And the box actually only cost me uh, £25. Um, I've got a three-month subscription at that price. So last month I, uh, was my first month. Uh, I've got this month and next month to go. So I'm only paying £25 a month for this. So even if the pops weren't that fantastic, uh, you're going to make your money back with the three pops and the candy you get. So that's a decent enough price for that. So um, let's get this open, shall we? And let's see what uh, pop and candy have got us this month. See if we can uh, do as well as last month. Okay. And last month it came in like six tiny little boxes. So we'll have to see if we get the same thing this time. We've got one there. Ugh, heavy one here. So this I think I presume this is all full of candy. That one's very heavy. So let's get those out of the way there. So that's very heavy. So I'm thinking three pops fit in there. I wouldn't have thought so, but maybe there's uh, one pop again like there was last month in amongst the candy in that one, so let's get this light one open first, and let's see what we've got on here. Okay, wish me luck. Alright, first thing we've got here is just the pop and candy card, we don't need that at the moment. And the first pop we have. Alright, and it's a uh, Walk and Dead pop. Um, so obviously still on the horror theme because uh, Walking Dead comes under that and we've got uh, the wonderful Daryl Dixon we've got Daryl in his um, Saviour's prison uniform but I don't actually have the, the common Daryl Dixon at the moment so very nice, that'll go nicely in there in my collection so it's not an exclusive enough, just a common pop to start off with and yeah, there he is so that's pretty cool I uh, don't mind that one. Let's just quickly get him out of the box and give you a closer look. Here he is close up. Uh, with his rocket launcher in his hand there. His iconic uh, jacket there. With the wings on the back. Of course, it's walking dead. It's Daryl. It's got to be cool. Nice pop. Right, so there's Daryl. Back safely in his box, ready for his pop protector. Never to be released again. Uh, so it'd be like back, being back in prison for him, but... He won't mind this one. So, um, decent enough start. I mean, you can pick up Walking Dead pops a bit cheaper than they were now. I think you can probably pick this up for seven or eight quid. So, it's a decent enough start. It's a one I need for my collection to go into. So, I don't mind that. So let's move on to the second pop. And we have got. Oh! Oh no! Oh, Danny, no. Oh dear, Danny. Uh, ignore me. I'm not. There's no one else in the room with me. There's someone called Danny in the room. Uh, I'm only saying that because um, fellow YouTuber, you've banged to us in their channel, Danny and Jazz, fantastic channel, check them out. Um, actually sent me this uh, Negan Walking Dead pop. Sent it through the post to me. What was it? Yesterday, day before. Oh, lose completely track of days. Um, but he sent this through, through to the post to me as a gift. And uh, now I've got it again. So, <laughs> But yours got here first, Danny, so yours is much more important. So uh, <laughs> there he is anyway. You didn't see that one when it came in, so... We'll show you this one. There's Negan in all his glory. That's a shame, but there we go. Let's take him out of the box and uh, give you guys a close-up look. 
There he is. There's Negan. Look, that's a very nice looking pop. Uh, he's holding Lucille there with a the barbed wire around his back. Uh, still got his moustache and and his beard and everything. That's a very nice looking pop. Good likeness. Nice pop. Got it twice. But there we go. Okay, so that's Negan back in his box. So I now have uh, two Negans, which probably doesn't bode well for uh, Rick Dow and his gang. So, uh, uh, is what it is. You, always, you get these boxes, you've got a chance of getting duplicates. Especially when you've got a lot of um, Funko Pops and you've got generous other YouTubers send them to you as well, which is fantastic. Thanks again for that, Danny. Really appreciate that. But uh, I'll pass this one on to uh, someone else who will appreciate it. So that is two Pops. Uh, again, Negan's probably worth around about seven or eight quid, something like that, I think. Uh, might be a bit more expensive, might be a ten pound, but we'll say around about that mark. So that's that box empty. So I'm presuming that there's a pop in amongst the candy in here. Now, I also presume that it won't be a horror pop, because it'd be a bit strange if they contacted me to say um, they had exclusive that weren't horror and then send me a horror pop. So hopefully this will be a decent pop, or hopefully at least it'll be an exclusive. Pop. Let's see. And we have, here we go. Shut my eyes, see you first. There we go. Is it a good one? Is it good? Ooh, yes. Oh, that is a good one. Oh, brilliant, Jurassic Park pop. Uh, exclusive to Target, but it looks of it. Fantastic, that is a good pop. Uh, anything Jurassic Park is good with me. Uh, I haven't got many um, characters in my uh, Jurassic Park collection yet. There's only about two, I think. That's uh, Dennis Nedry and Ian Malcolm so far, so. Um, definitely need a dinosaur to keep me on the toes, and um, especially when it's a Dilophosaurus. Um, I'm sure that Dennis Nedry's not going to be pleased to see him when I stick him next to him on the on the uh, shelf over there. So uh, watch out, Dennis. But uh, there he is anyway. That is a fantastic, really cool pop. That's as I say, exclusive to Target as well, so uh, I'll have decent value to that. There's some other ones you can get on there. Really must get going on my um, Jurassic Park collection. Uh, for how much I actually love the film to only have like now three pops it's pretty poor I have to say but uh, yeah let's get the Dilophosaurus release him from his box and uh, give you a closer look okay so here he is uh, looks absolutely fantastic pop uh, Dilophosaurus uh, so I presume it's like a limited one in, in the red because it's obviously not usually red uh, but it's a very very nice looking pop some fantastic detail there uh, even through the teeth and the eyes and everything looks really good even down to the tongue oh, I really really like that that is very very cool and an awesome pop to get really really pleased to have that one okay so that's the uh, target exclusive uh, Dilophosaurus back in his box um, I've had a little quick quick uh, sneaky look on my phone just to check how much these go for um, obviously in America you can probably go into your local target and pick these up for about 10 12 dollars or something so you can ignore this part because in the UK we get fleeced completely for uh, American exclusive pops but the cheapest I could find anywhere uh, Previously was that Nerdy Bird, which was £24, but that's sold out and out of stock. And the cheapest on eBay was £30, so it's not even readily available in the UK, so you're looking at least about £20-25 in the UK to pick this up, which is what I pay for the whole box, so I'm uh, very pleased with that. We put it with these other two, uh, even if we say Daryl and Negan are worth 8 quid each, plus that one, £41 of value in the three pops, I'm even over the candy yet, so... That is fantastic. Three awesome pops there. Very pleased with those. Right, so that's the pops out of the way. Now onto the best part. Oh yes, I get to eat some food now. I love eating food, as you can see. There's no when to stop as a problem. <laughs> right. And the first thing we've got is here. We've got some vanilla. Charleston Chew. There we go. That's what we've got. A vanilla Charleston Chew. Sounds good. That is absolutely humongous. So these are the size of chocolate bars and stuff we used to get in the UK, you know, before they started shrinking them down. There used to be a chocolate bar called a Curly Whirly, which is like used to be, oh, it's kind of smaller, obviously, then it looks bigger, but it used to be really long Curly Whirlies, now they're like about this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's try this one anyway. Uh, vanilla flavour. Oh yeah, I've got some chew to it. Oh, that's nice. Oh yeah, nougat with a delicious chocolatey coating. That's nice, very nice. I'm now definitely a fan of the Charleston Chew. Okay, one thing opened, very nice. 
And the next item we have, ooh, is some uh, Hostess Cupcakes. Eight individually wrapped cakes with frosted chocolate cake with creamy filling. Ooh, I do love me a cake. All right, so it's just it's got a little, a little chocolate cake. It smells very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once again, very good. That's the inside of it. Tastes exactly like um, a chocolate Swiss roll, which uh, UK people will know exactly what I'm talking about. Chocolate Swiss roll, exactly what that is. Right, what else have we got here? Some caramel flavoured marshmallow fluff. Fluff, okay. Well, I've got plenty of fluff, but not in a jar, that's for sure. <laughs> there it is. What then, earth? Fluff on a spoon. What we'll do with that then? Um, spread directly on toast, scones, or tea cakes as part of a delicious tasting low fat breakfast. Spread it on toast? Oh, yeah, I'd love some. Uh, I'll have some fluff on toast, please. <laughs> fluff on toast. And they say English people are crazy. Uh, well, I haven't got any toast, so uh, let me just quickly run off and get a spoon or something. That's what I have to do with that. Oh, my God. It's like polyfiller. <laughs> Hope it doesn't taste like it. Oh my god! I could look at that. Look, it's polyfiller. I could. I've got some cracks in the wall. And fill it in. Oh my god, that is amazing. It's all over your lips, man. Oh my god, that is fantastic. Oh, that would taste really good on toast. That is amazing. Why do we not get any fluff in this country? Where's the British fluff? So we go on to the next one. What we got? Here? Oh, more cupcakes. Hang on. What the heck? Hostess golden cupcakes. These are just like the normal plain. Maybe these will be the jam Swiss roll ones like I said before. Here we go. These are on a try. And there we are. This is what we shall be eating today. Oh, it's got cream in there again. Oh, it's got a funny aftertaste. Funny sort of. What sort of plastic-y plastic um, aftertaste there? There we go. Close up for your cake, what more do you want? That's nice. We have got... Oh, we had some of these last month. Caramel M&Ms, but, you know, never let it be said that I'll turn down the chance to try something a second time. These were fantastic. I salvaged these and ate these myself last time. I didn't even know I had them, but yeah, caramel m ms are fantastic. I said last time, do we actually get these in the UK? I can't say I've ever seen caramel m ms in the UK, but if we don't, why don't we? Next up, we have some mixed emotions. Oh, definitely, I'm full of mixed emotions. Um, mixed emotions jelly bean, Jelly beans? Jelly bellies. There they are. And as you see on the back there, feel the flavour. We have got... Um, Different emotions for different flavours, apparently. Uh, lemon is for happy. Hot cinnamon is angry. Well, that probably would make me angry. Uh, sour apple is playful. And uh, berry blue is sad. And I think I'll save these ones for my wife. Uh, the bubblegum flavour is for love. Oh, yeah. She can have those ones. Uh, okay, let's get these open. Let's, uh, let's give them a try. So we've got, what we got? We've got a uh, green one, which is sour apple. That's not sour whatsoever. We've got the red one, which was hot, hot cinnamon. I can't say that's making me angry. It's actually quite nice, quite refreshing. Yellow, which is lemon. This can make me happy. Not overly, just lemon. <laughs> Berry blue. This is for sad. <laughs> yeah, it's very sad. It's okay that one. And the uh, pink one, which is for love. What flavour was that one? Bubblegum. Oh, that's nice. That's the better, that's one of the better ones, that one. Yeah, they're alright, aren't they? We have got... Now and Later. Chewy, intense flavour chews apple. There we go. Now and Later. Now and Later. Okay. So, I'll have one now. And I'll have the other one later. <laughs> What a strange name for a product. And get it out of the packet. It's nothing special. 
Doesn't taste anything out of the ordinary. Um, just tastes like your standard chewy sweet. We have got, oh, we've got some Kool-Aid. Blue raspberry lemonade or pink lemonade. Okay, well, let's try one of these. Let's try both of these. But... Right, um, I'll oh, show that to you. Here we are, Kool-Aid. Oh, it's a sachet, like powder or something. Um, empty the contents into a large plastic or glass pitcher. Add one cup of sugar. One cup of sugar. Add one cup of sugar. Eh? Hey? Does a cup does a cup of sugar mean something different in America than over here? A cup? What the whole the whole cup of sugar in a drink? Well how much um how much water is in a pitcher? <laughs> These terms I do not understand. What's going on? Uh, add cold water and ice to make two quarts. Stir to dissolve. Do not store in a metal container. Okay, well, uh, we just go off and make a pitcher of Kool-Aid and chuck a cup of sugar in and see we get on. Okay, I'm back. Uh, it's all made up. My blue raspberry lemonade, Kool-Aid, in my awesome Walking Dead Daryl cup. Can't go wrong if you're drinking out of a Daryl glass, can you? Yeah, that's okay. Um... As steel drinks go, it's okay. I don't really feel like I've been missing out on anything in my whole life, and I have to go out and source loads of these now. But maybe the other flavours taste a bit better. But it's okay. It's nice enough, I have to say. I'm not going to say it's disgusting or anything. It's a nice enough drink. But you can get lots of things like that uh, in the UK, similar to that, without going through the hassle of having to mix all up with sugar and add all that sort of stuff. When you can get sugar-free drinks, which tastes just as nice, just as nice as that one, I have to say. So go on to the next. Oh, got another cake. Uh, it's Mrs. Freshly's. Oh, we had Mrs. Freshly's last month with the uh, little mini donuts, which were, oh, they were fantastic. Uh, these are Oreo brownies, made with Oreo cookie pieces. There they are. So let's give that a whirl as well. Oh, God, look at that. Look. I don't look too appetising. That looks like, oh, my God, it's messy as hell. It's like a dried up dog turd. <laughs> I'm now going to eat it. I hope it doesn't taste like a dried up dog, dog turd, but not like us. You know what a dried up um, dog turd tastes like. I promise you. Mmm. <laughs> nice, yeah. It just tastes like a normal chocolate brownie. Um, can't say I'm overly getting any too much of a hint of Oreo in it, to be honest. It just tastes like a chocolate brownie. So. Oh, we've got some more M&Ms. We've got white chocolate M&Ms this time. There we go, let's get those open. Did I have these last month? Oh, I think I might have done, but I can't remember. Love white chocolate, so. Oh, yeah, very nice. Oh, yeah, they're good. I actually think I prefer these to um, the normal MMs. Maybe it's because of the fact I've had MMs for so many years get fed up with the flavour. But it's nice to have a different chocolatey flavour inside them, too. They are very good. We've got some rainbow coconut bar. Pure coconut for pure enjoyment. Pure coconut. I'm not really usually a great lover of coconut. I'm not coconut in things like um, bounties and stuff like that. Never usually that keen, but here we go. Oh, look at that. Very fancy. That's what it looks like on the inside there. Oh, I say. Look at you. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely tastes like coconut. Yep, it's just coconut. That's okay. As I say, I'm not a huge coconut fan. My wife is; she will love that. She can have that. To, she can have that tomorrow. One thing left, and it is. Oh yes, <laughs> it is. Baby, rule. Baby, rule. <laughs> yes. Now I've not gone insane. Uh, that was uh, my attempt at a uh, impression of Sloth from the Goonies. Hey, you guys! Yeah, look like Sloth, sound like him as well. Uh, that's what he, that's what he says in there like, when Chunks uh, trying to give him a chocolate bar. Baby, woof. That's what he says. Man. I've never tried one, so my life's ambition is about to be completed. What's it going anyway? 
first of my peanuts, rich camo and chewy nougat. There we go. Mm. It's okay. It tastes exactly like a. Uh, tastes like peanut butter. Um. Tastes a lot like a uh, chocolate bar called a picnic. The only time I ever actually have a picnic is in this uh, like selection box at Christmas. Um, a chocolate picnic, that is not an actual picnic. I don't have picnics at Christmas. Obviously, I'm not that weird. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. Um. It's okay. Don't really get why Sloth was so excited about it, to be honest, but... Okay, so there was some pretty nice tasting stuff in there. Good selection of candy. Definitely not as much packed candy as I had in previous months, but um, I think that's probably to do with the uh, exclusive Funko Pop now. It's worth obviously a lot of money, so I've cut down on the amount of um, candy in there, which is okay with me. Um, I don't really need candy, as you can see, so... Uh, oh, I have to taste of those peanuts. Ah, let's wash it down with a bit more sugar. And some uh, Kool Aid. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel at the minute. <laughs> right, okay. Let's uh, bring all this other stuff in here. Yeah, so that's everything we got in there. I think, as I said before, the Dilophosaurus is in the UK. Obviously, it's cheaper in America if you live in America. But uh, actually, if I had to go and try and source this from, some from somewhere uh, in the UK, it would cost me at least 25 quid to get that. Uh, the other pops are just standard ones, so you can say 8 quid each. Um, forty at least say at least forty pounds worth of pops there. Three, uh, the candy. No idea how much the candy's worth really. I mean, what? Let me know in the comments. You seen all the candy here? If you're from America or you know the rough prices of these sort of stuff. About is there about a tenner's worth in here? Do you think? I have no idea if it's that much. Um, even if it's a fiver's worth, which I'm sure it's probably more than that. But even if it was just five pounds worth, forty-five. So say forty-five to fifty quid's worth of stuff here. I've only paid twenty-five for the box. Phenomenal value, fantastic, really happy with that. Really enjoy doing these videos. Um, I have to say, uh, Cotton Pandy. <laughs> Cotton Pandy? I was like, much more um, catchy name, isn't it? Cotton Pandy. Awesome. Pop and Candy uh, have really stepped up their game, I think, with the uh, Funko Pops. Um, last month was really good, one before was awful. But since then, they've really stepped up, stepped up and actually started putting some really good exclusives in there. So, really happy with that. Candy's decent as well. So,. Overall, the box is fantastic. Um, would recommend you give it a try. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I absolutely loved it. And um, if you did enjoy the video, uh, give it a like. Really appreciate that. Also, if you're new here um, and you're not subscribed, then definitely click on that subscribe button for more unboxing videos just like this one. And also click on your notification bell so you're notified when those new videos are released, which is every single day. Yes, I release videos every single day of the week, uh, unless I'm ill or uh, some other random reason. But majority of the time is every single day. And also, but most importantly, comment down below. We'd love to hear what you think about everything in here. What you think of the pops. What you think of this month's box. What you think of life in general. Whatever you like. Um, let me know in the comments. And uh, thanks for tuning in. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>